What if I told you that the sacred art of tabletop RPGs is under threat? That's right, folks. Grognard Gary here, and I'm seeing a shift that has my dice shaking in their bag. We've got this new breed of adventurers, led by the likes of the Skill Check D and D series, straying far from our beloved classic fantasy realms, tossing us into a whirlwind of extra planner escapades. So, are these New Age campaigns ruining the sacred tradition of tabletop RPGs? Let's dive in. Now, I've been a tabletop gamer for decades, and I've seen things you wouldn't believe. I've traversed the darkest dungeons, battled the most fearsome dragons, and solved the most intricate puzzles. I've seen the rise and fall of empires, the birth and death of gods, all from the comfort of my own gaming table. I've dedicated countless hours to mastering the art of role-playing, and I've staked my reputation on upholding the sanctity of the game. But as I sit here furiously flipping through the pages of my decades-old player's handbook, I can't help but feel a sense of outrage. Outrage at the travesty that is the Skill Check series. Outrage at the blatant disregard for the traditions and conventions of the game we all know and love. Outrage at the audacity of these young whippersnappers who think they can just waltz in and turn our beloved Dungeons and Dragons into some sort of, of, dimensional hopscotch. And it's not just the extra planner shenanigans that get my blood boiling. Oh no, it's the excessive improv antics that really grind my gears. The jokes, the gags, the tomfoolery. It's all too much. Dungeons and Dragons is not a comedy show, it's a game of strategy, of wit, of cunning. It's a game where every decision matters, where every action has consequences. It's not a platform for bathroom humor and slapstick comedy. You see, in my day, we respected the game. We respected the rules, the lore, the world building. We didn't try to subvert the game with our own brand of humor and antics. We didn't resort to cheap gags and juvenile hijinks. We played the game as it was intended to be played, with dignity, with reverence, with respect. These antics, these wild extra planner adventures, they're simply not what D&D was meant to be. Let's talk about verisimilitude, the sense of reality in the game. Now I know you're thinking, Gary, it's a fantasy game. How real can it be? Well, my friends, verisimilitude isn't about mimicking the mundane world we live in. It's about creating a consistent, believable universe with its own laws, its own logic, where the fantastical becomes the norm. Think about it. In the world of Dungeons and Dragons, dragons are as real as the chair you're sitting on. Magic isn't a trick. It's a tangible force that shapes the world. These elements work because they're built into the fabric of the game's reality. They're not just thrown in for a cheap laugh or a moment of surprise, and that's where I take issue with the Skill Check series and others of its ilk. They've taken the rich, immersive world of D&D &D and turned it into a playground for their comedic antics. Every session is a new joke, every character a punchline. They've forgotten that even in a world of magic and monsters, there has to be a sense of consistency, of believability. Now, I'm not saying humor has no place in D&D, &D, far from it. A well-timed joke, a clever pun, these can add a much-needed lightness to the game. But when the humor becomes the focus, when the game is played for laughs rather than for the adventure, that's when the verisimilitude starts to crumble. The fantastical elements, the magic, the dragons, they're not just set pieces to be played with. They're the building blocks of a world that's as real to the players as our own. They have weight they have consequence. And when you treat them as nothing more than props for a comedy sketch, you lose something essential. In their quest for laughs and shock value, they've forgotten the essence of D&D. &D. Now I know what you're thinking. Gary, it's all in good fun. And I hear you. It's true, these modern campaigns are filled with laughter and creativity. They've got a charm that's undeniably infectious. They've taken a game that was once played in basements and brought it into the limelight. And for that, I applaud them. But here's where I draw the line. Yes, humor is important. Yes, creativity is important. But let's not forget the roots of the game. Let's not forget the intricate lore, the detailed maps, the carefully crafted characters that we, the old god, spent hours, days, weeks perfecting. They were not created for the sake of a quick laugh or a cheap gag. They were created to transport us to a different world. A world where we could live out our wildest fantasies. And what of the rules, the sacred rules, 
that was set in place to maintain balance and fairness. Without these rules, the game becomes a free-for-all, a chaotic mess where anything goes. And while that might be fun for a little while, it ultimately undermines the very essence of the game. I've heard the arguments. Gary, it's just a game. Gary, they're just having fun. Gary, you're just a crusty old gamer who can't keep up with the times. And to that I say, guilty as charged. I am a crusty old gamer. I am a stickler for the rules, I am a purist, but I am also a defender of the game. A defender of the law, the rules, the traditions that have made this game what it is today. And while I understand and respect the appeal of these new humorous and creative campaigns, I cannot sit by and watch as the game I love is stripped of its essence. So yes, they're having fun, but at what cost to the game? I'm not saying we need to play in a dark basement, communicating only in Elvish. Far from it. What I'm advocating for is a careful balance, a respectful nod to the legacy of the game while we embrace the new and the novel. Let's not forget the original mechanics that made Dungeons & Dragons the titan it is today. The rolling of the dice, the crunching of numbers, the heart-stopping anticipation of a critical hit or miss. These are the elements that gave birth to countless wild adventures and epic tales. They're the backbone of the game, the foundation upon which all else is built. And then there's the storytelling, the true heart and soul of any RPG. The traditional method of weaving intricate narratives, of building fantastical worlds and complex characters, is an art form that takes years to master. It's not about being serious all the time, but rather about immersing ourselves in the game's universe, about embodying our characters with sincerity and conviction. But I get it. Times change. Innovation is a part of life, and it's what keeps things interesting. We've seen a resurgence of improv-style play, of bending and breaking the rules in the name of fun and creativity, and that's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. It's exciting, it's refreshing, it's what keeps the game alive and kicking. But in our rush to embrace the new, let's not forget the old. Let's not dismiss the traditional aspects of the game as outdated or irrelevant. Let's not lose sight of the roots of D&D, of the rich history and legacy that it carries with it. Because at the end of the day, it's about respect. Respect for the game's origins, for the pioneers who first breathed life into it, for the countless players who have kept the flame alive through the decades. We can innovate without losing the heart and soul of D&D. At the end of the day, we all love the same game. It's a game of imagination, of camaraderie, of epic battles and daring escapades. It's Dungeons and Dragons, the game that has brought joy to countless lives, mine included. Despite my complaints, my concerns, my old-school grumblings, it's the love for this game that fuels them all. I'm not here to rain on anyone's parade, to stifle the joy of a natural 20 or the tension of a saving throw. I'm here to remind you, to remind us all, of the roots from which this magnificent game has grown. We've journeyed together through the ages, from dusty basements to the glimmering realms of Twitch streams and the essence of what makes D&D so special must not be lost in the shuffle. This isn't just about dice and character sheets. It's about the stories we weave, the adventures we embark on, the friendships we forge. It's about the spirit of the game, the essence of what Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson envisaged all those years ago. It's about preserving that spirit, nurturing it, allowing it to evolve without losing its core. So consider my points. Think on them. Reflect on the changing nature of our beloved tabletop RPGs. How far have we come? How much further can we go? And at what cost? It's not about gatekeeping. It's about preserving the spirit of the game. So next time you roll that D20, remember where we came from.